Welcome back to another week's worth of your Attack on Titan dosage. So far, I explained literally everything you need to know about the Titans in our last Attack on Titan video, so I feel like it's time we delve into some deeper things within this series and try to answer the question on how did Eren Kruger know of Mikasa and Armin before they even existed? Like, how does Kruger have that knowledge or a specific memory of them? It's like Eren Kruger shared his mind with Eren Jaeger, so I'm going to try and break it down so everyone can understand and what's going on. So let's cue the intro and get right into it. Alright guys, just a quick reminder, this video will contain spoilers and possibly might ruin your shock or fun in finding out the lore from the anime itself. If you're not up to date with the anime, then be prepared. I know even though you guys don't care at this point, I still have to say it. Sadly, even after my disclaimers, I still get comments saying, I ruined the anime, I ruined their life, I pretty much ruined everything. And I'm sorry, alright, I'm sorry. But still, please continue watching this video and don't let this spoiler warning stop you. As like always, if you're here for clarity, verification and a clear breakdown on what's going on in Attack on Titans then you're in the right place. Alright, let's get into it. A lot of the points I'll be making will be using concepts like paths, coordinates and the Wheel of Ymir which you can learn more about from our what are paths and how titans are created video. But either way, I'll try to make things clear as possible. So before I get cracking into the theory of how Eren Kruger knew of Mikasa and Armin, let's quickly go over who he was. Eren Kruger was an Eldin born in Marley. At a young age, he witnessed the death of his family by Marley's soldiers as he hid in a closet to survive. This was because because his father was part of a revolutionary army led by the royal Fritz family, but they were beaten, captured and burnt alive by the Marleans authorities. Kruger was then rescued and taken in by some of his father's friends, but his hatred for the Marley people and the government pushed him to his resolve for revenge. From then on, Eren Kruger with the help of an Eldin doctor faked his blood test and went coerced as a Marley soldier to turn the tables. He took on the secret identity as the Owl and would pass information onto a revolutionary group known as the Aldian Restorationists. Unfortunately though, to keep his secret identity over the years, Kruger helped kill many thousands of his own people, turning them into titans and sending them off to Paradise Island. Kruger then met the young Aldian Grisha Jaeger as a boy when Grisha and his little sister went outside the internment zone to see the beauty of a flying blimp. Later as a result, Grisha's sister ended up being wrongfully murdered and the next time Kruger saw Grisha was when he had to tell the news of his dead sister. And at that moment, Kruger saw something in Grisha's eyes that changed not only Grisha's faith to come but also Kruger's. What Kruger saw was the same fiery determination and resolve that Kruger himself once had. This ultimately helped Kruger determine that Grisha is more likely going to be the key to fulfilling his plans. Now, it's not known exactly when, but around two years after Kruger's interaction with Grisha, he had managed to obtain the power of the Attack Titan. More than likely it was passed down to him by someone who knew his father or someone who also had the plan for the Aldin revolution. But all we can do is speculate for now. Through the guise of the Owl, Kruger continued to map out his ultimate plan to obtain the founding titan. He managed to get Grisha to join the Aldin restorationist and gave him information along with partly being responsible for Grisha's marriage to a royal Aldin Dean of Fritz. After a couple of years, the Aldian restoration was at its end. Grisha along with his wife and the other members were sent to Paradise to be turned into Titans. However, at this point, Kruger intervened just before Grisha's sentence and saved him. Just him. Killing every Marleyan soldier's present, then finally he revealed everything to Grisha, naming him successor to carry out his will and plan, along with passing on the power of the attack Titan. But before he did that, Kruger said something which blew everyone's mind. Blew my mind, blew your minds, literally blew everyone's mind. This was when Kruger urged Grisha to find a family and complete his mission for the sake of Armin and Mikasa. Grisha was confused by these names and so was Kruger as he admitted that he did not know whose memories he was seeing. So what's going on here? Before I explain that and now that we ran through Kruger's backstory, let's try to understand his intentions behind his actions because this will help us realize why Kruger did what he did. So looking back, either Kruger had more knowledge about everything that he led on or Kruger was following someone else's instructions, or that Kruger was acting impulsively based on the will of the attack titan, making everything predestined. 
Like Kruger told Grisha that after he saw the hatred and fire in his eyes, he knew Grisha would be the one to carry out his legacy and follow through with his plans. But more importantly, Kruger would pass down the attack titan to him along with the titan's will. But was that really the only reason Kruger passed down the attack titan to Grisha or is there something more to it? Well one of the other reasonings behind Kruger's actions could have been because Kruger understood the dynamics of the situation within the walls in Paradise Island and he knew the possible reason why the royal family and the successors of the founding titan were not doing anything about the Aldeans outside the wall. Kruger had a feeling that it might have been a binding row which prevented any change from King Carl's will. Hence due to this, Kruger needed a non-royal blooded Eldian to obtain the Finding Titan to break free of King Carl's will, along with the requirement of that Eldian having some relationship with a royal blooded Eldian to then make use of the power of the Founding Titan. As we know that a non-royal blooded Eldian cannot use the power of the Founding Titan unless they are in contact with a royal blooded Eldian. But how did Kruger actually knew all of this? Like he did have knowledge of all of this either subconsciously or consciously Obviously. Well, the theory goes like this, Kruger could have simply be following another person's instructions and that instructor was giving him advice on what to do, or Kruger could have been following the will of the attack titan he possessed. Either way, because of this, the whole marriage between Grisha and Dina Fritz could have been certainly planned from the beginning to build that connection between the royal family along with the creation of Zeke, meaning that Zeke's existence was essential to Kruger's or the attack titan's plan. Another important thing to note is that Kruger before giving Grisha the titan power told him to find someone within the walls to fall in love and make a family. One could look at this as a simple gesture or suggestion to forget about Dina and Zeke and move on with your life to continue the mission. But we are talking about Kruger here and everything he did was for the mission. So this suggestion to start a new family can't be overlooked so simply. It's fair to believe that Kruger wanted Grisha to start another family and raise a non-royal blooded child to possibly later become Grisha's successor if he couldn't finish his mission. However, it is also fair to believe that Kruger was once again following the will of the attack titan subconsciously, pushing Grisha towards the conception of the next successor of the attack titan, which could also mean that the attack titan will itself was pushing this direction to come in contact with all his destined host. I know this seems kind of crazy, like what, does the attack titan know every single future host? Well yeah, it seems like it does. It seems like there is a pushing force behind the will of these titans. Now, some of you guys are probably confused every time I mention the will of the titans. So let me try to clarify what I mean by that. The titan itself has an overall will where the collective memories and will of every user of its power ends up being molded into a unique individual will. We know this because when the titan is passed down, the memories of the previous owner also get shared to the new user. And we also know that if the previous user and the new user are related then the memories are easily shareable. But either way the memories are still shared in some ways, like it was with Armin and Bertolt. We also know that the titans can influence and even control the users based on its overall will like how it is done with the founding titan and the royal family inheritors. Ultimately though, the titans are part of Ymir Fritz's soul so the main driving force would be Ymir's will. But coming back to the question of how did Kruger know of Armin and Mikasa, like even if the attack titan was feeding him memories, how did it share something of the future? What's going on here? Well this is where we go into explaining what paths are and how memories will and even the power of the titan itself transfers between the Eldians. So for those who didn't watch our video on paths, paths are basically channels that connects all the subjects of Ymir together. The realization of paths happened after the shifted titans died without being eaten. The power seemed to have been transferred to newly born Aldians at the moment of the death of the titan shifters. Distance and blood relations seemed to have no effect, indicating there was a place beyond the material realm that connected all the Aldian people. And this would kind of be logical as not all of the followers of Ymir were related to her. Simply following her might have solidified a bond between her power and her subjects, and this connection seemed to be have control within the world of paths. The paths also serves as gateways for the materialization and power of the titans. They allow the transportation of the power itself, like everything from the skin of the titan to the meat and bones doesn't just pop into existence. Instead, it actually comes from these channels known as paths. Now, Eren's father Grisha compared paths to magic because they are not visible in the physical world and can transcend physical space and time. In the manga, the world of paths is dropped into further, as when it's introduced, it shows a land covered in light-colored soil 
soiled and the sky showed a magical cloud-like trail of light. We also know that Ymir entered the realm of paths after she gained the power of the titans and so did Zeke after being on the verge of death when a random titan pulls him into his stomach to somewhat heal him. After this experience, Zeke said that time itself is irrelevant and he felt like he was there for years, at the same time only there in an instant. Which ultimately shows in the world of paths that time is irrelevant. So knowing that, it's also fair to say that the past, the future and present doesn't matter when it comes to this world. Hence, the communication from the past and future can go back and forth very easily. So think of paths as an actual dimension with a web of directory for every Aldean and on the point where the paths that connects all the Aldean is called the coordinate. The founding titan power has access and control over this coordinate which allows the one who has full access to it like the founding titan to control every Aldean and titan. But it's important to understand that every Aldean are connected to this world. However, the Aldean who possess the power of the titan can also obtain a degree of access to this place and also be granted more of his power like the transfer of memories. But from the fact that Kruger knew Armin and Mikasa, it feels as though he was force-fed memories from the attack titan from the future Eren. It is possible that Eren found a way to enter this world of paths and share his memory with Kruger. This is in fact possible as if time itself is irrelevant in this place, then there's no specific point in time where things has to align. Every Aldean in existence can be connected and accessed to. So the theory is that Eren Jaeger managed to enter this realm and manipulate everything to be the way it is, so that the destiny of the Aldean people can be fulfilled. This would probably either be possible after Eren has access to all the titan power making himself as equal to Ymir Fritz. And to prove this point we have to go back to the first chapter where Eren is dreaming. In his dream he actually seems like he's foretelling the future. He sees visions which seem like it happens later on in the series. This could be because Eren and everything that happened in the series already happened according to when it comes to memories. It doesn't matter that Eren has the power of the titan at this point because time itself is a relevant and what connects every Aldean is actually beyond time itself. So the theory of how did Eren Kruger know of Mikasa and Armin is because Eren from the future might have sent his own message and memories through the attack titan to the past by accessing the place of the paths. Eren Jaeger managed to enter this realm and manipulated everything to be the way it is so that the destiny of the Aldean can be fulfilled. This would probably be either possible after Eren has access to all the titan power making himself as an equal to Ymir Fritz. Remember guys, this is just an anime balls deep theory. So let me know what you guys think. Put it down in the comment section below. If you want more videos like this, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe and ding that notification bell to stay updated. With that guys, I'll catch you a lot till next time.